In this video, we shall be looking at how to set up this mini pan and tilt Wi-Fi camera. This camera can work as a standalone camera so that it will not need to be connected to an NVR, in which case it will be operated through a mobile phone or a PC which is connected or linked to this camera. And in such cases, all recordings will be done onto an SD card in the camera itself. And so in this video, we shall look at how this camera can be linked and viewed on a mobile phone. And then also we'll look at how it can be set up to be viewed and operated from a PC. As indicated here, a micro SD card for video recordings and a reset button sits behind this cover. So we will quickly open this cover to place the micro SD card. This is the slot for the micro SD card. And this picture here describes how the micro SD card should be positioned in the SD card slot. This is a sample of a micro SD card which I intend to use in this camera. So I will place it this way. Press it down to lock. You can see it's in there and it is successfully placed. The reset button is located in this hole that is here. We will very shortly see how it is used. This is a provided power adapter for the camera. So I'll just connect it to the power port of the camera and plug this end to a power socket. You can see that the camera is powered on and it is initializing. Let's see how the camera can be hooked onto a mobile phone. The first step to take is to install this app, Cloud C International Pro, from Play Store or App Store, depending on your phone type. I have my app already installed, so let's go ahead and open the app now. We will have to tap at the Add button here, then tap on AP Config here. The instructions here require that we press and hold the reset button on the camera until we hear waiting for configuration from the camera. So I will use my reset pin to press and hold the reset button until I hear waiting for configuration. So I will now go onto the phone and tap on next. We will have to wait for this countdown to end. Then tap on switch Wi-Fi. Here is the access point for the camera. We would have to choose it. It is connecting. This is not my first time connecting to the access point of the camera. So it is connecting directly without requiring that I enter the password. Please take note of that. Now that the phone is connected to the access point of the camera, we will go back to the Cloud C app. So I'll tap here, go back and exit this. We are in the Cloud C app now. You can see that the camera's access point or AP is online, which is an indication of a local area network connection to the camera. When you tap here, you can see the camera pictures. Please note that these pictures you see here are as a result of a direct connection to the camera through its access point, but not through the internet. And so this is not a remote view. Before we see how to do the linkage of the phone through the internet, or what is also called a remote view, let's try a local area network view of the camera on a PC. A local area network view on a PC requires the use of a VMS software. 
Here is my already installed VMS on my PC, so I will launch it. Put in my login credentials. Before I proceed, I will have to connect to the access point of the camera since I want to view the camera on a local area network. So I'll click my network connections down here and choose the access point for the camera, which is here. It would have asked for a password to the access point if it were my first time connecting to the camera's access point. So my PC is now connected to the wireless local area network or the access point of the camera. So we'll go to the device management. We'll search for devices over the local area network. You can see that it has found the camera. So we can just select the camera, add to management, and add. You can see it listed at the top here. So we can go back here, video preview, and double click the IP cameras listed here. And you can see the live preview right here. I must state that this is a view over a local area network, which does not require internet connectivity. And so this view is limited to just the local area network. Please take note of that. Let's go back to the phone now and see how we can set up the remote view, which will be over the internet so that you can do the view of the camera regardless of your distance away from the camera. So from the live preview window, we will go back from here. We will tap Q config. This brings us to the point where we can connect the camera to an available Wi-Fi network, which will supply internet to the camera in order to facilitate the remote viewing of the camera from wherever you wish to view the camera from. So when you tap here, as you can see, it has listed available Wi-Fi networks around. So I'll choose my Wi-Fi. My internet Wi-Fi has a password, which I'll put in here. Then start network. The configurations will be sent to the camera of which the camera will then have internet through my internet Wi-Fi. Network configuration successful, as you can see it here, which means that there is internet on the camera now. I will add the camera. You can see the camera now showing online. And this indicates that it is now present over the internet and can be viewed whenever or wherever you find yourself in the world. So when you tap on the camera, it is given a prompt. I'm currently using the default password of the camera, which needs to be changed. But basically, this is the process. You will need to change your camera from the default password to your own chosen passwords to allow the remote viewing of your camera. With the PC View 2, you can add the cameras to the VMS through the camera's Cloud C ID, and that will give you access to the camera on your computer, wherever you find yourself in the world. Please leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I will respond to all of them appropriately. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.